I'm Daniel Atkinson. I'm the manager of public programs here at the MCA Chicago. And I'm going to tell you about the MCA's program, Talk Access Praxis, Ariella Granados. Access Praxis will be April 30th, 6 o'clock in the Commons. Ariella Granados is a multidisciplinary artist who works across performance, song, installation, video. Their take on things combines a kind of absurdist outlook on commercial culture. They also investigate their relationship to disability and what that means in terms of their life and their artwork and so on. They're going to be presenting some new videos that I think some are either the premiere, maybe the second time that they've presented these videos. They will be in conversation with another local curator who's a part of DCASE right now. So it's going to have a number of components to it. Access Praxis is a program that we've been doing in conjunction with an organization called Bodies of Work for three years now. You take the two words, access, it's work in relation to disability, disability arts, disability culture. Praxis is putting ideas into action. Bodies of Work is a really important Chicago-based organization. They work with artists with disabilities, bringing them into multiple kinds of platforms. They have a lot of ways in which they do that. Basically, almost all of our public programs have a number of accessibility measures, things like American Sign Language Services, CART captioning, which is like real-time translation between what is spoken into written form. In addition to that, in our projects with Bodies of Work, we have access doulas. So they are there on site to provide other kinds of access support in a kind of more ad hoc way, whatever anyone might need in that moment. That's really important. The program really undulates depending on which artists or artists that we're working with. So it started off as a program with local artist Justin Cooper. Last year, though, we were working on this other project called Crepistemology in the Arts. Crip used to be a pejorative, but it's a word that folks with disabilities have taken on and used as a source of empowerment. Crepistemology is about knowledges that are obtained through living as a disabled person, as a disabled artist, right? So last year is all about, like, what are the things that we know that might be different, unique, expansive to a human being's experience? This time around, we're going back to just focusing on a singular artist with Ariella. Every year, the folks that select the Access Praxis artists are bodies of work. For the MCA, it's a leap of faith and trust in terms of who they think makes the most sense. And since we've had this long-term relationship with them, really, they're the ones selecting the folks. Everyone's unique, and so each time I'm having to learn something totally different that I didn't understand, and each time I feel like we become more expansive as an organization, the MCA, and bodies of work, too. Every time that we're in conversation with the artist, we're having discussions, okay, is this accessibility measure met? Is this met? So I feel like everyone is kind of growing in that pursuit of the best program possible. I'm most excited about how comical the videos are, the installations are. You know, too often when folks talk about disability arts, it gets put in this like really, really serious space. And it is serious, but Ariella's work is also just so playful and imaginative and comedic and joyful, which in and of itself is a kind of radical gesture to do within that space. I think it's going to bring audiences into a kind of new set of perspectives, one that isn't often showcased in those kinds of spaces and within that thematic.